Okay, well, just as I was trying to say it, I did it. I dropped that power cord without thinking, and uh, it uh, it uh, disconnected. And when the power disconnects while it's recording, it shuts down the stops the recording, which sucks. With the phones, it does. It happens sometimes, but not every time. So you didn't always run your recording. So, uh, I'm just going to leave the bottom off of it, and uh, I don't like, with my live streams, I always have a way to, well, most of the time I have a way to know if I'm still recording, but I don't, except for watching that little red light blinking. So, that's all I can do. Uh, okay. Debating, I didn't get, I kept thinking I was going to set it up out on the truck. And then if any water came out or anything, it wouldn't hurt anything. But then I thought, well, I can't, I can't reach. It's the truck's already high enough. It's, it's, it's a, it's about just below my shoulders. This hood is. It's actually pretty good for working on it. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in there. It won't run without the grinder basket in it. And that was I was gonna just get the grinder basket here that's good and put it in the other one, but. Now, I'm, well, I might still do that, but first I'm going to see, I want to use it to test this one. So I got my water in here. And I'm not going to make coffee, I'm just going to test it. And I didn't put it in yet. Uh, where's what I usually plug stuff into? Over here on this side of the world. I've got a power strip over there and I've got a four-way over here. Yeah. That's a hundred, hundred foot cord, not really what I want to use to do that with. That power strip wouldn't even reach over here. Can't really move that cord. Yeah, that's not what I should use anyway. That's got all the. I guess I'll go get that. See if I can get that far without carry. I think I'm gonna have to carry the camera with me. I've got a, a 20 amp cord over there. That's why I thought I might do it over there on the truck. Uh, Either got to drag that 20 amp cord over here, or I uh, got too much stuff sitting around in the way to move things much. Let's see. Those cords that go to computers would be all right, but they don't have the same kind of plug on the end of them. Anyway, it'd be best, to, and that is on the 20 amp circuit. So let's get this thing and carry it with me, I guess. Let's see. Wait, I think I can make it, and then I won't have to do all that. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, this will be good. I thought I, I've been like I've been like that all day. I just that's one. I think that's why it took me so long. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I could have had all that ready, but I can't see. There we go. Yeah, okay. Now, I put the gloves on because I just didn't want to get dirt on my... Oops. I was fiddling with cords a little too much there. There we go. Okay, now... 
Uh, you can turn the grinder off, but let's just let it run just to uh, make sure that all that part of it works. It's not going to grind anything. I'm not making coffee. If you hear that fan, that's because I'm right in front of it. I'm going to get my tools out of that chair so that I can... I had to buy an extension, a long extension to be able to I bought me a that I think I'll take that take that battery off of there. I don't want to forget and leave it. Well there's the dr first drop test on that. Uh Bought me two five amp hour batteries and yeah, still got still full. And two uh, and I already had the eighteen volt drill and, and a saber uh, saw. Can't say the right word. And uh, okay, so it's. Seems to be working. Let's get over here and see. Yep, it's it's heating up. <laughs> it's actually dripping some hot water out of the right left sun. I think it's still slanted. I tried to get that that little table that that that's a short step ladder, and I put a big board on the top to make it like a little table, well, a work table, workbench. And it's slanted because that's the way the thing is. You, it's the way it's made. And uh, I stacked up some boards. These are screwed down because I used them and that other one behind it there to put my... I have an old interior door, lightweight door, that I use as a workbench. And, well, that other... that and... oh, and it makes a... I put it on top of there and it's just right height for that. That's a little tab, baby table saw behind there. And uh, anyway... I don't know if all the water's dripping out of there or what. What did I do with that? That no. Oh. This thing has a light that lasts pretty long. It's pretty bright. Let's see. I'm not sure. why I have I'm gonna turn it gotta watch out about running into my power cord and messing up my video again okay I'm gonna turn it where I can see it a little better it really is leaking of course it might be because it's not level but uh not sure. Maybe this isn't in there all the way. It doesn't look like the water's coming out where it's supposed to come out. Where's that little... Everything I've got's outside. It looks to me like the water's leaking down behind it instead of over into the pot like it's supposed to. Which is unexpected. Oh. It's kind of just leaking everywhere.
Yeah, it's all getting in the floor. Well, I had a feeling it might leak, but I thought, uh, it probably won't. <laughs> so if it was out there on the hood of the truck, then it wouldn't matter. I think I'm going to turn it off. <coughs> and get out there where I can... <coughs> it makes you see better out there because there's more light. Get out there where I can uh, figure it out. So, first I'll take my cord with me. Let's see. Then I'll send it. Whoops. I was going to say that's in the chair, so it'll pan all real easy, but not if the chair, <laughs> if the cord doesn't come with it. Okay. Not what I expected. Okay. Now, I'm going to get it and take it over there. Get some of these thicker gloves on. Those other pairs got holes in them anyway. I don't know why it's leaking. I'll set this. It's got some in it. But not a lot. Okay, if I set it there. Okay, yeah. That extension cord, I mean, that uh, power cord was pretty hot. So let's get the camera over there with us. Might not be. I was hanging onto that handle to, to, you know, that extended. I used the nut driver to get the, get the screws out, but I ain't going to put them back with that. It's just plastic. So anyway... Get out right here. Still working? Yep, still working. Oh, I didn't bring my power with me, but it did reach. I got lucky. Actually, I think it's just right. Yeah. If I move it, I'll probably, I'm liable to knock it loose again. So, there's the area. Put the pot back in it. Where is it? I don't know if I can make it very close to making it. Let's see. Yeah, it's leaking quite a bit. It's not normal. So it may be a parts machine after all. Well, I think I'll turn it back on. And I'll do the grind off, so I won't have to listen to that again. I know that it works now. And, uh, oh, I have a light that's on over there, a drop light. I can use that. But, uh, let's see why it's leaking. Oh, I can back it up some. Oh, that's close. I can't get it enough in the frame. Actually, it might be too close. To, it might be blurry, even. you got to watch out with this camera. Okay. Uh... There it goes. It's all running down the back instead of going in the. It's all running down the back. Huh.
Yep. I don't think it's because of the... Maybe it's not getting shoved up. But it shouldn't run down the back anyway. Well, it could be over. If it's not opening up good, now it's working. Maybe the little uh, valve is not opening. It looks like it barely even touches it. That's a, no, that should be enough. But why is it running down the back? I don't know. Now it's doing both, looks like. Pretty hard to see in the, you know, that it, where, where it's supposed to be going. It's kind of dripping around, just dripping a tiny little bit off to the side. But it, that's, that's okay. Well, it's almost out of the zone where to go in the pot. I would say a big portion of that water, a whole bunch of it's in the floor from me fiddling around there trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, so when you keep having a recurring idea, maybe you should just do it. I kept thinking to do it here. Okay, so uh, this is where I worked on it. Worked, like I said, it worked out pretty good. It's just the right height for me not have to bend over or stand it, you know. Yeah, it's just kind of dripping everywhere. And uh, even with it leaning, you know, the only way it should be coming off out of the basket like that, I mean, off the side, like it's, it's dripping off. <coughs> basket must not be draining as fast as it should. It's part of it, I think. Oh, well, it doesn't have a whole lot further up to go. They have a bad tendency to get clogged, but I cleaned it. Blew it all out with air, and then I washed it in the house. Now, this is not the uh, pot that goes with it. Uh, it's actually the one that goes with uh, the first one. I think the first one's a 600 and I don't remember. This one is a, I might have a number on it somewhere. Well, it's brewing now. No, I don't think it has a number on it. There's a 600, 650, a 625 is, I think that's the range of what, what I've got. Uh, yeah, I can see. I can just see the water level. It's got about a, I don't know, cup. I, I don't remember. I don't ever use it. I just fill this up all the way, and then I know I can't run it over, unless of course the last batch is still in there. <laughs> Sometimes when they don't work right, you know, you'll end up with uh, the thing full of. Uh, Uh, water in there that you don't know is in there. But it is brewing again. It could be that it needs cleaning real bad. I'll tell you what, I noticed something when the uh, when they set a long time, even when you've cleaned them fairly recently, they'll have all that deposits of coffee that it dries up into black crunchy stuff and uh, the it uh, I, I blew a whole bunch of stuff it just was falling out of there and then I went uh, kind of shook it and got what I could out and then I blew it every which way now that could be that some of that stuff is uh, stopping up the water lines and it's I just can't remember. Well, they, they do do crazy things like I know they always want to run over when they're dirty. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Because uh, that would mean it was. Uh, yeah, if it was clogged, if the water lines are clogged, then that, I, that might cause it to run out the back like more. I don't think it's. This is probably more level than it was. Or kind of the same. It's running, you know, it's dripping out the left side like it was before. But I went ahead and set it like that so that I could get the camera on it, you know. It is working.
so. Brew in the way. I think I'm, I'm thinking about maybe uh, uh, I'm at blank. Oh, getting the, I have some real good cleaner. I found some real good cleaner. I used vinegar for years and it kind of cleaned them up, but it never, it would usually clean them up enough to maybe stop running over and stuff, but the coffee would be good for a week or so, maybe two, and then it was bitter again. I found this stuff. I don't remember the name of it. It uh, it does it. It actually doesn't smell near as bad as vinegar. It has a smell, and you don't want to leave it in anything plastic too long. Uh, the insides of these are, are uh, stainless, but there is plastic around the top and everything. So, uh, but uh, And they wor it works best when it's hot. So if you just, just run it, I put it... Put a bunch in there and run, you know, mix with water and then run that that over and over th at least three times. Cleans them out good. And uh, and then in the meantime, anything else that I want cleaned, I'll fill it up with hot water as I can get out of the tap and with some of that stuff in there and just let it set. For, if it's not getting heated like in the coffee maker, then it'll take three or four hours to clean stuff up. But it'll clean, uh, like I have a thermos, we always pour, I drink one kind of coffee, and uh, my brother drinks another kind. I like the beans that get ground, and he likes just folders breakfast already ground. And uh, so uh, I'll uh, we put it. In, we have a thermos, uh, and we'll, a big stainless steel thermos, and we'll just pour. What, if there's some left when we get there, we'll pour that into the thermos. It keeps it warm for several hours, and it also doesn't get the the flavor stays better. But uh, but it'll get after after a while, you know after several months a year <laughs> it'll get really black inside it'll get you can stuff you can feel, stick your finger in there you can feel it and it'll feel oily you can get your finger a bit oily and uh, <coughs> so that'll clean it right out I wasn't really wanting to fool around <coughs> cleaning this one <coughs> I thought if it works I may put it in there and use it but I, since it's leaking. <coughs> I'd have to clean it to see if that'll make it work. Otherwise, the other one is working fine. It just needs a basket. I'll put this basket in it, and it'll quit throwing grounds all over the place. It, you know, it's just got grounds coming. I didn't know what was going on for a month or two. I just thought, why is that area so dirty? And I thought, well, I ain't been... Oh, I thought, well, I didn't do it because I don't... I, I I don't put grounds in. I don't scoop grounds. You know, I scoop beans. So then finally, I saw that hole in the grinder. It still took me a couple of weeks to realize that's where. It, oh yeah, that's all flying out of there. And it's big. It's got like three times bigger now. It's bi bigger than. It's about three eighths hole now. So it's really making a mess. That's why finally it was nice weather. wasn't hot this morning. And uh, it's not too bad now. It's really. I don't know. It's probably for 35 now. Yeah, even the fire was supposed to be 91 today, and I went, I always went through it, and I did just fine. Which I'm kind of, it's breezy, just breezy enough. Yeah, so it's, it's done, done gurgling, still on. It, uh, now there's no heater in it, so you know it doesn't. Uh, I think it, it's hot. Golly, I don't remember the thing being that hot. 